there is way more to this than we thought. The investigator that downloaded the file has since extracted as much information as possible. That is when we found out the attacker's name. I've identified the attacker's Alice basis on his attack server associated with the malware. Security community refers to the attacker by the name Mr. Santa. The same day, we found out that it wasn't just my crypto that was being targeted. The username he uses on various forums that he sells stolen data on. We found out what really happened when I clicked that PDF file. This was more of like a malicious virus rather than like some crypto hack. Every single person that's been scammed or hack has experienced something different because there's so many different methods out there that they can use to get you. You wanna stay tuned for the information that I'm gonna be telling you in this video. We are not stopping anytime soon. It's as simple as that. The investigator uncovered a malware called Redline. This takes place December 12th, right after I stopped recording my last video. So I was not only freaked out when I heard my MetaMask got hacked, but when I read this, I was just thinking like, oh my God, when is this gonna stop? The second stage of the malware file downloads and installs multiple CRX files. That's the file for Chrome extensions. It was basically a malicious extension and it cannot be detected by an antivirus because they do not run on the device system level. So it's only within the application. The malicious extension then attempts to fetch all of your passwords. So most likely it captured all of my banking details and every single password I had saved on Google Chrome. You know that notification you get every single time you type in a password asking if you wanna save it? Thankfully though, I never ever press that save button for my bank details. For something like Amazon, I would save it just for the convenience but I would never save something private directly on Google. So thank God. But it definitely still scared me a ton, thinking that my Google passwords could have been compromised for YouTube, for my emails, all sorts of things. As you guys already know, I instantly changed all of my passwords. I wiped all my devices, so I should be good. But it's just crazy, because here I thought like, oh, they're just trying to like steal my cryptos, like a direct target for my crypto. But it's way more than that. This was an attempt to literally get everything from me and without all the people that are helping me through this i might have not done the things that i did when it's a virus this extreme anything is possible all my information was compromised this malware also tries to discover your active wi-fi connection meaning the attacker is trying to get access to every single device connected to your network so what i did was i had comcast come out they completely gave me a new box changed my wi-fi and when i'm saying like oh they had complete access to my computer i mean like it's literally as if they had my computer like i might as well have not even had it directly in front of me because it was theirs control everything they can do whatever they want on it. literally full access before i restored the computer and i had it just sitting there because it took me a few days to like completely put this all together you know i saw the time balance wiped and i was sitting there like is this an accident? Is this a glitch? Refreshed it the next day. Noticed it was still gone. I'm thinking like, what the heck? Like maybe I, maybe somebody stole it out of my account. And I started putting everything together, realized that I got hacked. So that was about like four days after I clicked the actual malware. Who knows what I did on my computer in the meantime? It just blows my freaking mind to think like them three days or whatever. Like, like they could have literally even been hearing what I was saying and stuff. Like the video I was making, they probably could have like actually like watched and heard. Honestly who knows it's been about like three weeks and from all the precautions that i've been taking i mean i feel a lot lot better about everything and i'm not nervous like i was in the last video last video i was like saying i couldn't even go online i was feeling like everybody was trying to scam me and out to get me or something but no this is just all a learning experience and i'm so thankful that i can reflect this onto youtube and help people out there prevent this from happening so it was pretty much impossible to check if the attacker actually compromised my Wi-Fi. So it was even harder to tell if they had access to any other devices. And he was saying we actually don't even have the equipment to process this anyways. There was still one thing that we did not figure out. How did they actually get access to my seed phrase? Or did this malware just somehow just suck my wallet all the information that i just talked about will help figure this out so he asked me did i store the seed phrase locally like as a screenshot a text file or something and honestly i didn't even know because i only used that metamask for my time wonderland which was a thousand bucks so i went on my phone and i went through all of my pictures to see if i took a picture of my actual metamask wallet and i guess my thinking was just to take a picture of it on my phone because i'm only going to use the metamask on my pc it's not even going to be connected to my phone most likely the screenshot was exfiltrated directly from my device so they had all the information they needed to rebuild the wallet on a separate device if i had more than just the seed phrase to my metamask on my phone they would have access 
to all of my other accounts. Five different exchanges that I have thousands and thousands of dollars on. I have other private accounts that I have thousands of dollars on. If I also had screenshots of those accounts, that would have been all gone. I would have been at zero. 90% of my net worth is in crypto. 90% of it would have been gone. 90% of it would have been to the MetaMask hacker. This is no joke. And I'm just so thankful it wasn't worse than what it was. That's literally all I can say at the end of this. Like, I honestly just have the chills thinking about it. If I really woke up to that, like, my whole life just sucked out of my freaking accounts. I... Let's not think about that. You don't know how bad this works me up. Like, this is going to be something I'm going to be working on my whole life. I want to put an end to this. I want these hackers to face some time, man. And we can do it. I was just reading articles from a couple months ago where a group of hackers were caught. It can happen. It can happen. It can happen. You just can't give up. The more people we can get in on this and the more information we can continue to get will lead us in the right path. Mr. Santa steals your PC profile and all the information on the device, anything he can find valuable, and he'll take it and sell it directly on the black market. This is a method that has been known forever. And basically what the investigator was telling me is skilled hackers are the apex and they're able to sell less technical scripts to kitties. So they're not only making money from hacking people, they can take the stupid information that they don't even want and sell it directly to the noob hackers, let's say. So it is literally a chain reaction of this huge hacking group. The bigger guys get the most valuable information. The smaller guys have to buy the crappy information. Like I said, what I fell for was more of like a virus. Like this was something to just attack everything it was like a full blasted attack something like a little telegram scam where you click on it and they're asking for your seed phrase i mean that's just to get some tokens from you this was to destroy my life so in this case believe it or not since my computer was infected with a malware a hardware wallet would have not protected me from being hacked because as soon as i would have plugged in my usb wallet to check my time balance or whatever my device would have then instantly been infected it that's just insane. Freaking wild, man. And he was saying the malware would have copied the log file, and then they would instantly delete it from the USB, which in this case was my ledger, and I would have not have been able to access my ledger at all. At all. I would have been completely locked out of my own ledger. That's how intense this malware was. In my next video, I'm going to show you guys how to check if any of your private information has been compromised on the internet. I will show you step by step how to check if any information has been leaked from websites that you've signed up for, applied for, anything you've submitted your private information to. For all I know, my information is being sold on the black market right now. Please be extra cautious being online in general. Think about everything before you click on it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and supporting me throughout all this. It means a ton. Please subscribe. Unfortunately, a lot of people end up watching the videos and don't press that button. Please, please, please just smash it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Have an amazing rest of your day. Always keep your head up and stay positive. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>